Hello! In this video I'm gonna show you the first things to do after setup on your Motorola Razr 60 Ultra. There are a few things that you absolutely should do to enhance your experience, to make your phone run more smoothly, to customize it, have more features and to make it more secure as well. So let's begin by connecting to Wi-Fi. It'll be important for some further steps and you most probably already have done that. But if you haven't, then um, go to the settings. To close out of that, okay, go to the settings, then go to network and internet, Wi-Fi, make sure that Wi-Fi is turned on and select the Wi-Fi network you wish to connect to. You may need to enter its password, of course, if it has one. Then scroll all the way down to system updates. Now click on check for updates. You can see that I am using the latest software, but if you have any software available, then feel free to update it. It'll make your phone run more smoothly, securely, and has the, have the newest features. And once you click on download and install, it'll start downloading. You can continue to use your phone in the process, but later on you'll be prompted about restarting it. So restart it, the restart may take longer than usual, but after that the update will be applied. Now, let's sign into the Google account if you haven't done that. There's a chance you already have, but if you haven't, feel free to go to passwords, passkeys and accounts. Then you can see I already have it, but if you don't click on add account, then select Google. Of course, uh, if you don't have a Google account, then un under accounts for um, owner, um, you won't have uh, the Google account listed. Now, once that's done, go to the um, Play Store. I'm gonna click on Get Started. I'm gonna skip uh, the additional apps and then uh, select uh, either password or biometrics to verify your purchases in Google Play Store. I don't have my biometrics set up just yet. I'm gonna show you how to do it, how to set them up in a moment. So I'm gonna use the Google account password. Now, once that's done, click on uh, your profile icon in the top right corner. My manage apps and device, uh, update and apps. You can see they are updating, but I'm gonna cancel it just to click on update all because I want to update everything. Now, once it's being done, you can uh, of course continue to use your phone in the process. So let's go to the settings and set up our um, security. So uh, go to the security and privacy. Then, uh, device unlock and if the screen lock is set to none or swipe. I'd highly recommend setting a pin pattern or password but before you do that make sure that you will remember it because in case you forget it there will be no way to restore it than to simply erase all your data on the phone which we don't want but I think it's still worth it so no one else besides you has access to your phone and um, let's go to the screen lock I'm gonna set it to a pattern and to something simple but feel free to set it to something more complicated so it's harder to guess um, but make sure you remember it and then it asks you what to do with the lock screen notifications and I'm gonna select it to show sensitive content only when unlocked um, because I don't want others to see my notification content when my phone is locked then click on done and I'm gonna set up the fingerprint it's quite secure just enter your screen lock then touch the fingerprint sensor after you click on, click on setup it's located on the power button tap and lift then repeat that process several times uh, remember to move your finger between it scan so it scans the whole area of your fingerprint Once that's done, you can add another or click on done. Um, then, once I go back, there is also the face unlock, which I'm not gonna set up because on this phone it only bases on the camera. Uh, so it's not too secure since it can be unlocked with a photo of you or by someone who looks similar to you. Although there are phones on the market that. Mm, the based on IR sensors which make it secure but this one does not belong to that group. Now I'm gonna show you how to unlock your phone in these two methods so that with a fingerprint you simply need to tap on the fingerprint sensor as easy as it is. Um, for the screen lock I'm gonna try to click on the power button without my fingerprint getting in um, in the place then swipe up enter your screen lock and it's unlocked. 
Now, since we got that, let's go to the next step, which is customizing your wallpaper. I know lots of people like to have their wallpaper personalized, so you can set something set, um, provided by Motorola, but you can also transfer it from your previous device, download it from the internet, or take a photo now. And I'm gonna take the photo now. Just um, open the camera up, uh, now take the photo as you wish, and um, now go to the settings. Go to the main screen of settings if you're not on it. Uh, home and lock screen. No, sorry, personalize. Yeah. Uh, then uh, probably you'll just need to click on this first tile. And you can select uh, a new wallpaper from photos created with AI or select something provided by um, Motorola. I'm gonna select it from my photos, just allow all access to the photos in my gallery, then select the photo you want to add. And now mm, you can see how it'll look on either home screen or lock screen. These are the previews. It doesn't really change anything, but yeah, it should like give me a preview never mind just click on set wallpaper now select where to set it on i'm gonna set it only for the lock screen now once that's set just you can see it's there now let's set up google pay I think it's pretty useful. Google Pay lets you pay with your phone in stores by tap to pay without reaching out to your wallet for your payment card. And um, don't worry, it's quite secure since um, it's bank authorized, provided by Google and requires your phone to be unlocked in order to use it to pay. So if you want to set it up, uh, go to the Google Play, then search for Google a wallet let's search for that now uh, you can see it's there uh, click on install and in a moment it should get installed and once it is you can open it then uh, click on view wallet I'm gonna allow notifications why not then add to wallet um, payment card and you can scan it with your camera or if it doesn't load your camera you can also enter details manually and then you may need to verify with your bank via message phone call or um, simply bank up if you have it and once that's done you'll be able to pay with your phone whenever it's unlocked by just swiping down from the top of your screen twice to go to the shortcuts then click on wallet that'll open a wallet and now you can tap your phone to the reader uh, let's go to another step i think there's like three steps in front of us or even less so you can see there's like facebook or maybe some other apps that you don't necessarily need to um, have on your phone of course lots of people to use uh, Facebook and that's absolutely fine but if you want to get rid of it or any other app if any other app gets installed and it's not a system app uh, then you can press and hold on it then uh, click on app info and uninstall but of course only uh, the unnecessary app apps can be uninstalled the necessary ones cannot now Let's go to the next step, uh, which is sliding down from the top of your screen. You'll see this notification, finish setting up your device. And let's do that so we're not prompted about it anymore. Just click on continue setup wizard. Now uh, click on start. And you'll be asked if you want to set up using another device. And if you do, if you do want to copy settings, accounts, apps, photos, data, whatever from your previous device, then feel free to do it now because later that option may be unavailable. And what I mean by that, that option, uh, the native option to copy your apps and data from previous device is only available uh, once you're asked about it, but you cannot do it through the settings. So if you skip it now, 
it will become unavailable. And of course you can do it through a third party app, but, it, but I think it's the best to do it with the native method because it does the most. And I'm gonna skip it, but feel free to just select which type of device you have and follow the instructions on screen. They are, they are gonna be very intuitive. Mm, I'm gonna skip that and la now let's wait until it loads. It may take a moment. Now, feel free to either insert your SIM card or install an eSIM. Uh, I'm gonna skip it. You can do it at any time in the settings, mm, but I guess it's the best to have it from the very beginning. So from the very beginning of using your phone, you can receive messages, phone calls and stuff. Now I'm gonna confirm my pattern for whatever reason. This is the last time you're asked about copying apps and data. After that, that option is unavailable and you can only use third party apps. So let's click on done copy in my case. Then I'm gonna continue the setup. I don't wanna be prompted like the third time about the setup. So I'm just gonna skip Google Pay. I've already explained it. And okay, I was just asked to like leave the setup <laughs> for one thing. Never mind. Um, I'm gonna uninstall the Opera. I don't care about that. I already have Google Chrome, and that's what I'm gonna use. But feel free to get, leave the Opera if you if you like it. Then, if there's like perplex perplexity, uh, the LinkedIn or Amazon Music, feel free to uninstall that as well. And now let's get to the last thing in this video, uh, which will be in the settings in the battery battery then um optimize charging i believe <clears throat> yes if you enable that your phone will learn your charging habits and adjusts uh, adjust the part uh, charging patterns accordingly so um your phone doesn't get overcharged overnight for example or at whatever time of the day uh, because if you plug it in um, at some certain hours each time, then it'll learn it and begin charging to 80%, then pause charging and resume uh, before uh, about an hour before you're expected to unplug your device. Uh, so it just doesn't overcharge and it improves your battery longevity. And that's all for this, for, for this video. I hope it was helpful. Consider liking and subscribing. Bye.